All right, welcome back to the uh, Spartan Math Library. Uh, we just started our new book, Moving Straight Ahead, um, dealing with linear equations. And the first investigation asked us to figure out what our walking rate was. Uh, if you recall from the last book, Comparing and Scaling, we figured out unit rates. Um, remember that unit rate is simply two things that are being compared to each other, where the second one is referring to just one singular unit. Um, some of the examples that we had were like miles per gallon, uh, so how many miles could we travel per one gallon of gas? Uh, we talked about how many um, dollars per hour. Uh, so if you work one hour, how many dollars will you get? Uh, we're going to be continuing using that information during this in, uh, this book that we're working on. Uh, and the situation, again, that we had with this first investigation was we walked um, out in the hallway. with We measured out a, a distance of 10 meters. And... Um, with stopwatches figured out how long it took us to actually walk that. So in that situation it's how many seconds um, it took us to walk those 10 meters. Um, and most of you were somewhere between, I don't know, 5 to 8. I'm just going to choose 7. Uh, that's a nice uh, number in between where a lot of the students were coming up with. So the first question in the book asks you to find um, your walking rate in meters per second. Um, again, that's saying if you walked for one second, how many meters could you travel? So just like we talked about uh, in comparing and scaling, when we're doing this, um, we're going to divide one of the things by the other thing, and that's going to give you two possible unit rates depending on how you set it up. Uh, whichever number you put first, and then the division symbol, and then the second number, your label has to follow that same order. So like I said up top, the examples that we talked about, I had miles per gallon. So miles came first, gallons came second. Miles were divided by gallons and gave me that MPG, miles per gallon, is my answer. Uh, in this situation, again, we have meters per second. So I have to start out with the number of meters traveled. So in this situation, that would be 10 meters. And then you can think of the word per like a division sign, so for each uh, and then the seconds, uh, my situation uh, was about seven seconds. Um, and when you divide those numbers, the number of meters by the number of seconds, my situation, I'm going to round to the nearest hundredths place. So that's approximately one in 43 hundredths. Um, and again, because I started with meters, it's going to be meters per second. Um, some of you switched it around uh, and found the seconds per meter, which is actually a very useful unit rate. And in fact, the next question that we're going to deal with in the book, um, some of you found that that was actually easier to use the um, seconds per meter. Um, but remember, on the tests and in questions, you'll often see it worded a specific way. So if, if it's worded meters per second, you actually need to find that particular one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I'm going to create another uh, video cast that uh, follows this one up with some discussions on how you can use your unit rate. Um, specifically, like if you says, um, the book says, how, f how far can you walk uh, if you walk for a specific amount of time? Or um, how long will it take you if you walk a specific distance using that unit rate? Uh, again, if you have any questions on... Um, how to, how to use this information to help you with homework or classwork. Uh, hopefully this video has helped, but please remember that you can always check in with the uh, Edmodo page and, and get some answers there too.